Hello guys. Yeah, once again we're going to work on a flow code program that still interfaces LED with PIC. Just this time around, we're gonna work on some series of LEDs that blinks forth and back. So we're still going to choose our normal PIC which is 16F877A. Then we have our interface. Then we're going to start by putting our while loop because we want it to run continuously run in a loop. Then we're going to put our input and output. This time we're going to have a button. This is a reset button. I'm going to go into your external properties to change it. So push button then the other ones you act well actively you can choose anyone you like either big or small apply okay then our outputs our led array so this time around i'm working with some set of leds external property so change the number of leds to five size color let's choose yellow apply then go back to our connection of our button is already in port a bit zero choose port b then, then let's view our chip so we have our port A bit zero, that's our switch, then our B from zero to four. So put that aside and we'll start our program. Then we'll put our input icon that has to work on this push button. Our input icon to port A. Then you declare a variable, we'll create a new variable. We can name it input still in byte from 0 to 255. Okay, then name it input. That's the name of our variable. Port A. This time around is a single bit because we're working on only one input. So click OK. I'm going to put our decision, our decision icon, so inputs, I'm going to set it to 1 as a variable, to 1, it's input 1, yes or no, yeah, we'll work on no first go to our no decision then we're going to put our output icon our output icon now in this case is the, the led array so if you don't press the button nothing will happen so our variable will be zero, variable value will be zero. Our ports, since we chose port B for the LED array, click OK. So, but when we press the button, this button is like a reset button. So, when you press it to start all over again, to clear everything you've done, then when you press it to start all over again. So we'll choose our outputs. Our delay first in our output. Since we are working for five LEDs now, so we're going to have five LED outputs. So three, four, five. Right. So we have five LED outputs. So we're going to put in our delays in between them. So 
So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Then we we'll work on our output now. Delay. Let's choose. Let's see. 70 milliseconds now this time. Again. Output now. So we're going to make some calculations. See, we have input and output. And we have for five LEDs, which is starting from zeros to four, which is zero, one, two, three, four. So we're going to make a calculation in binary. That's two raised to the power zero. For the first LED, for LED zero, two raised to the power one. For LED one, two raised to the power two. For LED two, two raised to the power three. For LED three, and two raised to the power four. For LED four. So we're going to start with LED zero, which is two raised to the power zero. And two raised to the power zero is one. So we're going to put one. Then change it to port B. So I done for LED zero. Delay seventy milliseconds for uniformity. Then to our LED LED one, two raised to power one is two. We choose two. Seventy seconds for infirmity. Two raised to power three. Two raised to power two now for the LED two is four. Choose four. Delay seventy milliseconds. Then for LED, LED three, choose to part three is eight. Choose port B seventy milliseconds for uniformity. Then to reach the power four, which is sixteen. Port B. Then I delay, which is seventy seconds. So we are done for the forward blinking, because the main program we are writing here is to blink forward and backward so we are done for the forward blinking so let's play for us to be able to display the blinking good so you can see it's blinking forward because we use the button to start then we use the button to stop. Start, stop. So now I want to blink it forward and backward. So we can call our macro here to serve as a create a new macro. I name it reverse blinking. Reverse. Okay. So choose a reverse. Then you know initially we started from LED zero to LED four, which makes the blinking start from LED zero to one to two to three to four. So now I'm going to make 
a macro called reverse that will make it blink from LED 4 to LED 0 still in the same loop so we're going to start by putting our output two, three, four, five. delay in between So, 70 milliseconds for uniformity. Now we're going to start from 2 to power 4, which is 16. Port B. Okay. Two to power 3, which is 8. Port B. Trace part two, which is four. Trace power one, which is two. I'm oh, sorry, this is for the delay seventy. So trace power one, which is two. Port B. So, two milliseconds for uniformity. Choose to power zero, which is one. Dot B. Okay, and delay seventy milliseconds. So, we're done with our reverse. So, as the program runs, it runs forward from zero to one. To two to four to eight, and this reverse it goes to the reverse, then it blinks back to zero. So let's run our program to view. Click your button, as you can see it's running forward and backward, 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 and a button to stop. Click again. So you can view on the chip. The way it's going, where it's viewing forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward. So you can stop now and save. So name this LED arrays, LED. So then we can compile to hexadecimals because that's the language the PIC understands. Compile to hexadecimals. Then you're done. Success. Return code is zero. Finished. Close. So thank you very much. I'll be back soon.